Hi people, it's Thursday the 21st of October 2010 and in the interest of fairness I thought I'd better read out my open letter to Carolyn Jones because a lot of uh, people who view videos on YouTube don't, um, not much interested in reading blogs and whatever. So to go along with uh, Mr. Gould's reply, I thought I'd read out the open letters so you could see what he didn't mention in his um, response to me. Open letter to Carolyn Jones, 21st September 2010, for the attention of... Hello, Mr. Jones. It seems that my email address has been blocked from contacting all Assembly members who I refer to as the usual suspects in my blogs and videos. I do not find it that amusing, though I am sure many of them are quite glad. So I'm having to write this letter and hand deliver it at the Assembly in the hope that it might tweak some consciences to actually finally do something on my behalf. A, form, a forlorn hope, I realise, given the history of neglect that this latest event in the saga highlights. You will see if you care to look, at, look that I am accusing you and the rest of the Welsh Assembly of a hate crime towards myself. That is the combination of criminal negligence, after all what else can it be, but a total disregard for another human being. Here then are the URLs of the blogs that you will find at http colon two forward slashes bbccrazydave.blogspot.com that have been ignored like all the others. I think it's high time the Welsh Assembly demanded that councils transfer their housing stock over to housing association ownership so that all rent monies go to, go to housing, not the treasury, or pay for other council services. That way a bungalow could easily be afforded to me given the revelations of how much Welsh councils have paid back to the treasury over the lifetime of the Assembly. Maybe you will even take a hand in getting me rehoused so that I can have the peaceful enjoyment of my home, a human right denied for me for so long. I also hope that you will watch the videos even if they take time to upload. There are some future money saving ideas included as well as the list of all those in government that have blocked my emails, democracy, I don't think so. And then at the end then I've added the um, National Assembly for Wales Facing Hate Crime Charge um, the discrimination by the usual suspects leads to this. Crazy Day splashes, uh, slashes billions of housing benefit. Cardiff North MP Jonathan Evans on discrimination charge. The second Reith Lecture 2010 blog. Oh, email caused by the second Reith Lecture blog. Signed and addressed. So, uh, Mr. Gould didn't. Um, mention anything about the Welsh Assembly Government blocking uh, my emails. It appears to me that that's been done after my initial email to um, Cheryl Gillan, the new Secretary of State for Wales, because um, Peter Hayne, in his tenure, never responded to any of the issues I was trying to raise about discrimination by the Welsh Assembly Government or criminal negligence by the, uh, the Welsh Assembly Government in dealing with um, the same by Cardiff County Council. So that was that letter and at the same time as I handed that letter in, I also handed in to an officer down at the Welsh Assembly, one of the uh, South Wales Police Protection Officers down there, um, to forward on to the Chief Constable. It's like a, that, that was on the 22nd of September, it's now the 21st of October and so far the Chief Constable hasn't responded to the complaint and so I'll read that out. Uh, Chief Constable South Wales Police, hello Mr Vaughan, attached you will find a letter to Carolyn Jones, First Minister at the Welsh Assembly. You will see that they have finally blocked my emails after so many years of receiving them. It seems that the blog Crazy Day slashes billions on housing benefit finally got their goat. You will also see that I have accused them of hate crime towards myself. I am serious in this allegation. The previous Chief Constable, Barbara Wilding, never followed up on complaints made by me of criminal negligence by Cardiff County Council and the Welsh Assembly towards my health and welfare. While I have little faith in you doing anything extraordinary and actually agreeing with me and doing what is necessary so that might end, I thought at least I should contact you regarding this just to see. 11 years living in a council converted property that does not conform to minimum building standard regulations and nobody but nobody given a tuppenny stuff or finding any or finding any old excuse not to process my requests for rehousing or to be seen as a hate crime 
Well, I hope that you will search the blog, there are many. I hope that you will watch some of the videos on YouTube, in it, even if they sometimes take an age to upload. You will find some that accuse your officers of aiding and abetting the Welsh Assembly in its criminal negligence towards myself, and you will probably say, and you will probably say, contact the IPCC if you are dissatisfied. I have done that, and that organisation has not lifted a finger to help. Any would think I must be some kind of mass murderer to be treated so callously. Perhaps you will surprise me, not that I will hold my breath. I shall be handing this in to your officer at the Assembly to see what they do with it. Yours, David Gabriel, address attached. So, yeah, nothing from South Wales Police. The banner, when is their fraud squad? They have a fraud squad uh, dealing with... Um, what they call it now, um, organised crime and fraud, yet they don't want to investigate organised crime fraud committed by councils or by government, and that's wrong, but then government and councils are their paymasters, aren't they Mr Warren? And government being their paymasters can dock their money if they seem fit, if the police are actually doing something on citizens' behalf for a change. There's been a 30 million a year fraud being carried out by Cardiff County Council, Mr Vaughan, for the last 11 years that I've been investigating this matter, trying to raise attention to this matter. They don't put in that they're paying rent rebates to um, housing associations. They don't put in their accounts that they're paying rent rebates to private landlords and they, uh, yet they are putting in that they pay rent rebates to council tenants. That money, Mr Vaughan, comes from central government, not from Cardiff County Council, and they're claiming that they pay a rent rebate is a lie. That money comes direct from central government. They have to top it up by 5%. Their account system is a fraud. They're paying £11 million a year back to the Treasury from the figures in the Western Mail article. Now that £11 million that they're paying back could well have afforded me to have a bungalow and it could have well afforded many other vulnerable adults in this society in Cardiff and not to be in private landlord accommodation where they don't have security of tenure. So, on behalf of the people of Wales, Mr Vaughan, South Wales in particular in my instance, do you think your fraud squad could get his finger out of his ass and actually do what it's paid to do and investigate Cardiff County Council? Because £330 million over the last 11 years would have uh, changed my housing. I wouldn't have to put up with having people talking over when I'm trying to listen to a radio. If I had a TV, that would be nice or the stamping on the ceiling, or the washing machine shaking the shit out of the ceiling, and that the members of the Welsh Assembly Government who were stood by and done nothing through all my protests during 2004, 2005, and later on when the Queen turned up to verify that they can run the country, do something, Mr Vaughan. And I wonder why you've taken so long not replying. Even an acknowledgement letter, dear Mr. Gabriel, I have received your complaint and will be put looking into it. Or, I have received your complaint and I am dismissing it. One or the other would be nice. Thank you very much. In the interest of um, fairness, I put it out. There's going to be more repossessions with um, the new spending review. Where are those people going to be rehoused, Crazy Dave? Not in social housing, are they? Who's going to be making money out of it? The banks and the estate agents, aren't they? Why isn't there social housing? Because the council's been fiddling the accounts. Thank you very much. Got to watch out or we don't go over ten minutes.